Oh, hey guys, welcome back. We've got our favorite surfer in the house. Please welcome Stefan Lewis. Thank you, thank you. He's here for our beach and surf report. How is everything looking this weekend? Well, it looks like we're going to have the three foot range going all the way through Sunday into Monday. And then we see a downtrend through the week where it's just going to be flat all the way till next weekend. Boom. But okay. we do see some storms uh, out there in the Atlantic that could possibly enter the Gulf. I don't mm -hmm. want to make any promises out there, but I can tell you that we need to just keep heeding the warning and, and lift Bahamas up because they're going to be right Take in the mix hit. again. So, Golly. but hey, if you guys want to go out and paddleboard or spearfish, we have that clear green water. So go out there and check it out. And we're going to do some surf lessons today. Yes, we are. Right here on stage. I'm very excited. So you mentioned that we might have some rain coming in. Uh, yeah. And, possibly. And, and so, you know, when those storms are on the East Coast, it draws a lot of pressure off of our coast. And mm -hmm. so a lot of people don't realize that, but we do get that moisture. And at three o'clock in, in the middle of the day, that's where we get those rainstorms because mm -hmm. there's so much moisture in the Gulf, so much humidity in the air. Okay. And a lot of low pressure right now. Nice. So, okay, surf through the weekend and then it's going to flatten out. That's correct. After. That's correct. So it'll be fun, waist high surf, guys. Get out there, get cool. on the soft tops. It's going to be and a wonderful weekend, a lot of sunshine, maybe a little bit of rain here and there in the afternoon. All right, guys. So uh, we're going to keep that short and sweet because today we're going to do a little surfing lesson That's with right. Stefan. We're super excited for it. So let's get Jocelyn up here. All Come right, on, Jocelyn. here we go, on the wave bandit. Now, obviously we don't have um, those <clears throat> fake waves, <laughs> so but we're gonna learn. This is how everybody should this learn. This is how right? everybody should learn. A uh, couple basic steps. We're gonna start out on our stomach and we're gonna oh, simulate okay. the paddle. Paddle, paddle, paddle. And then we're gonna arch our backs as we feel the momentum and then pop up. And that, okay. it's like riding a bicycle. So the yeah, momentum totally. that you carry forward gives you the balance. <laughs> so let's slip, right? No, I hope, oh, Lee, there's big waves out here today. Yeah, I know. I know. It's a little bit rough. Look out, Jocelyn. So you want to pay attention to the center of the board. You want to All even right. yourself. Go ahead and lay on your tummy. Okay. And you want to be not too far up and not too far back. Okay. All right. So you're going to actually paddle, 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 paddle. start arching your back, grabbing the rails of the surfboard. Grab Not the, the water. Of the oh, the surfboard. Rails. Okay. There arch you go. your back, arch your back. All right, pop up. Front foot first. There you go. And yes, remember, girl. there you go. You look like a ninja. There's always an imaginary line here in the okay. middle of the surfboard, so you always want to keep your foot so right there in the middle. My question up. is, how do you not slip whenever you you know, stand up. Well, I think that over time and repetition, you uh -huh. start to realize being in the center of the board with enough momentum carried forward, you have that balance. Nice. And so you start to look at the beach okay. and drop your arms and you, you'll you acquire it over time because okay, you got to cool. feel yourself out. And you want to be able to <laughs> shimmy back and, 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 and forward on the, the board way. to get that, cool. you know, knowledge of the balance. Well, thank yeah. you. Come on, Clarissa. Let's see Practice what you got. Let's see perfect. what you got. Watch oh. out now. There's big waves going on. Oh, I'm scared. Know, it's it's a little shark bit coming. Here. Okay, so remember, okay. you're going to grab the rails of the board as you arch, that's going to give you the At stability. At what point am I looking cool holding my board and then when do I get on it in the first place in the water? As soon as it's like knee high, do I hop on my board? Uh, yeah, I'd say that. I mean, anytime you have a knee high wave, you have a, <laughs> enough energy to try to get this sport. And, okay. and so here we go. We're going to grab, paddle, there paddle, go, paddle, grab go. the rails. Oh, paddle, 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 paddle. You get it. All right, pop. There you, there you go. go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There she goes. Whoa. So you can see that there's a few <laughs> steps. And as you're learning, we adjust these steps just by an inch, nothing greater than an inch. So we need to either move back on the board mm -hmm. or move forward because Is you want an even playing surface. when you're actually like, when things are, I would just oh, be yeah. like, ah! Because there's so much going so, on. But uh -huh. it's, you can do like you can make those moves like that. Like she could shake her hips Abs like Shakira. Absolutely, you can there do the little go. salsa dance. You know, yeah. it's all about rhythm. You want to be in rhythm. You have to have that rhythm. Absolutely. Like the Beach Boys do a music video. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> in the USA. There you go. There We're you doing go. some dance lessons while surfing. So a lot of times, what people don't realize is that it's good to have uh, someone in the water with you that mm -hmm. comforts you. Okay. And it's all slow process. And we do have surf schools on our coast. I mentioned the yep. Texas Surf Camps mm -hmm. with Morgan Faulkner. Okay. It's a great school and they go through the steps and it's good to have that ocean knowledge to protect yourself and, and keep yourself out of danger. Speaking um, of that, what are some safety tips we need to know if we're heading out in the water? Well, we here? need to know uh, the currents and the size of the waves and also possible venomous life like jellyfish and you can find those on the boards with the flags. You'll see those color flags, you know, we there's three yeah, different colors. Yeah, we don't colors. pay attention to those. Right, what do they exactly. Mean? Well, it could be high rip current, mm -hmm. or we could see lots of jellyfish, and the green would indicate that all conditions are safe. Now, I, I want y'all guys to remember, we talk about they just caught a big shark off of Bob Hall, but what mm -hmm. they don't tell you is, the guy got in a kayak, 
and paddled three football fields out, and that's where they caught him. Okay. So we don't have They're that right crazy shark-infested waters, guys. I, I want to say I've been surfing for 17 years, and you see me here. Mm -hmm. And uh, so just remember that sometimes we talk about that, but it's very rare. And you have to watch out for stingrays. You want to shuffle your feet as you yeah. enter the water. Mm -hmm. And remember, yeah. anytime you're on a too. surfboard, you always, as you fall off the surfboard, you want to come up and protect your face because we use these foam boards in lessons, mm -hmm. but we have a hard board behind you. And so you know you always got to protect your face because if you're you on a hard board, yeah. I actually have a metal plate in my face oh, for my man. surfboard hitting Really? Me. Yeah. Wow. So it's impressive uh, stuff. That's why they have these. You okay, know, yeah. Ones. Yeah, that one's squishy. All right. Safe. Squishy and safe. I'll have to try it out sometime. Yeah, we encourage you all to get out there and try surfing with the right setting, of course, and the right teacher. <laughs> Thank you so much, Stefan, for joining us Absolutely. today and giving us a little surfing experience without the water. Next step is in the water. Going Absolutely. in the water. Absolutely. We will we'll try we'll that we'll soon. get it live soon. All right, guys. Guys, coming up next, the Corpus Christi Museum of Science and History is here to talk about an event that changed Corpus Christi 100 years ago. Stick around, it's Coastal Living. For the Coastal Bend. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. 